Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for June 23, 2008. The NASDAQ, after five, five waves up, one, two, three, four, five, with a truncated fifth wave, appears to be in a zigzag. It so far has got A, then B, and the worst case scenario, it gets a C. If it drops below 2389 this week, it could drop to as low as 2300 to 2310. And the 0.618 retracement level is around 2307. It needs to hold that level at least. If it can't hold that level, it could drop to as low as 2159 and test uh, the recent three month low. The Dow has. Excuse me, the Dow. The Dow has a 1, 2, 3 appearance. 1, 2, 3. And it's actually going to—it's actually threatening the March lows, if not the January, the January low of around uh, 11,500. If it drops below 11,000, below 11,500, it could be a big C wave. It could be A, B, C. This could be A. This could be B. This could be C. If it drop below 11,500, and there could be a test of around 10,000, which would be pretty nasty from here. S and P. These are the worst case scenarios. S&P's got appears to have A then B, and the worst case scenario drops below 1258. If it drops below 1258, there could be dropped to as low as uh, 1140, 1150, which could be the target of a C wave down. On the 10-day charts, it it isn't as clear, but um, this could be a third wave down. This could be wave one, wave two. This could be wave three. And uh, let's see the Dow. Dow probably the same thing too. One, two, three. And the NASDAQ. Wave one, wave two. It drops below 2389. There could be a test of that 2300, 2310 level this week. These are the worst case scenarios, and it's, it's all setting up that way. Sorry to say. That's a wrap.